Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today I want to show you how to use the uh, date strings, so the date uh, methods and functionality of Axure. We are going to cover mainly the now and gen date and we will see how to format correctly uh, these dates. If you're interested, as usual, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, put a like a comment and that's it, let's get started. And here we are inside Axure. So what we can see here are just a couple of text widget and a button. So uh, the idea is that when clicking uh, on the button, we have to show on this uh, two fields, the now date and gen dates. But first let's uh, select the button and uh, in the interaction pane, in the new interaction, we can say on click, set text, of what of now date for example we will start with with now and instead of simple text i want a rich text right because i want to change you know a bit the formatting so uh, bold and not bold etc so i will go on edit uh text and as you can see here we have the now date and next to it i want to put a variable or function let's go in the variable of or function here and go down to the date section, as you can see. So the first two, as said, now and gen date are proper of Axure. All the others comes uh, from JavaScript. So if you want to understand more uh, about all these other uh, functions uh, and methods that, ca that are coming from JavaScript, just go on the website like for example uh, developers.mozilla.com uh, and you can find a lot a lot of information about this uh, javascript so uh, what i want is the now so i just click on now and as you can see it puts me the uh, now function uh, right and I want to format it differently. So like a regular I want to change the size like 24 and that's okay okay but I want also to get the gen date. So the now date, it will show on the, uh, on the screen, basically the date in which you load the page, right? The gen date, differently, it's something, that, uh, it's something that will show you the last time in which the prototype has been generated. It could be really helpful, for example, when uh, you work with clients and you want an automated process uh, to get the, um, the client knows when was the last time that you uh, generated actually that uh, prototype, right? So that said, on set text, we add a new target and uh, we take the gen date and again, we will do a rich text, added text, and next to gen date, we're going to put uh, the variable again, gen date. We will show it as a regular and again, 24 uh, pixels. Okay, so we have what we need. Okay, and now let's go in preview how to see how it looks like. So. As you can see, if uh, I click on show me the date, uh, you see, this is the, the basic format that uh, Axure gives you, right? So it's really long, it's not, it's not really uh, user friendly, I would say, but we have all the information inside, right? And uh, let's, but let's see the difference between now date and gen date. Obviously, now we have the same exactly, uh, more or less, more or less the same, uh, the same uh, date and time, but see how uh, can change when I click again and again and again and again on the button. So as you can see, the now date, it triggers, so the current date and time. And so as you can see, it continuously change every time that I click. The gen date, so is the date and hour in which I launched the preview of the prototype. And 
if you share it as HTML uh, or for example uh, on Actual Share, so uh, this time will be the time in which you generated, okay, this prototype. So now uh, we say that this uh, this uh, date and time is uh, actually uh, obviously something that is not really uh, user friendly. So we have to find a way to format it differently. So let's see how how to do it. So let's go back in Axure. And here I'm going to, uh, for example, on the now date, I'm going to change it. Change it and next to now, I have to insert a new variable or function that will change the formatting, right? And actually we have a lot of them right here. But what I want to use, for example, the most simple uh, one that we can, uh, we can use is to local date string okay so if i put a to local date stream okay it put again the now so i want to delete one of them because the now is already the variable so now to local uh, date string let's click okay and done let's see how it looks like now on action get me the date ah uh, you see now we have uh, the current version of, of the local. So here in Luxembourg, the date and time is shown like that, right? So we have the day, the months and the year, right? Let's see how it looks like if, for example, we take another one, uh, for example, the on the gen date. Now I want to change it with uh, another one that is, for example, to local time string, for example. Okay, let's delete the now again because the gen date is our variable. And let's click OK. Done. Let's preview. So now if I, sh I say show me the date, you see? Now what is taking actually is only the time. Because, because we took actually only the time. So it's 12 and one minutes and six seconds. Okay. And this will not change obviously because it's the generation date. And also this video is finished. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new from me. And if you want to learn something more about uh, JavaScript and how to format differently uh, your date and time, you can take a look, for example, on the Mozilla developer uh, website, there is everything that you need to know about uh, those uh, functions. And so as usual, uh, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, put like a comment and see you in the next video. Bye.